Good morning from Brussels. Today we are going to speak about artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is changing everything from how we work to how we live. America and China are sprinting ahead while Europe seems to concentrate rather on responsible AI with strict regulations. But let's be honest, does playing it safe mean we are falling behind? Can we be both ethical and competitive? Or is it time for Europe to speed things up? Let's see what Europeans think about it. Do you think that the approach of Europe uh, on artificial intelligence is too slow or is it just smart regulation? I got in touch with the AI Act already, which I see as be pretty um, not forward working what it's supposed to be. Well, in any type of new developments, new technologies, it's always good to have um, the least amount of regulations because it, uh, it fastens the development. But uh, on the other hand, you have to think about the, the ethics behind, behind science or behind uh, technology. It's too slow, in my opinion. Can we compete with uh, the US and China or are we already behind? I think we're already behind, but we still have, uh, we have the right talent here. I think we have very good universities, we have very good schools. I think we are slow, but China is very, very good in this topic. I think we are behind. I think we are in a good, uh, in a good way of competing against them. We have the right fundamentals to, to, uh, to compete, but I think right now we are behind. Are AI rules protecting us or just stopping innovation? Uh, both, both, I think. <laughs> I don't think it's stopping innovation necessarily, but it's working to protect us and our rights. For now, I don't think they are protecting us. I think that the regulation is uh, too slow and not fast enough, because there needs to be protection also for our rights and our data. And I think the EU is too slow with the regulation. What industries in Europe you see or you trust to develop artificial intelligence, private or public? In that case, I would say public institutions because uh, AI, we should share with everyone that, that kind of knowledge and make it public, it will be accessible for everyone. I think public investments in that regard is pretty um, important currently and also on the European level I think it could be more done um, digitally and I think this is one point that we really have to work on also in order to compete better on the international level. I'm not sure if there are any actual applications that are already proven to, to be a, a big added value uh, so I'm not sure about that. Public company because uh, if someone in private do this, uh, the interest is not for the collectivity and for the citizens. It's for uh, making money. I think it depends on if it's for regulation, it needs to be uh, done by the EU or by public institutions. Um, otherwise, it can also be private as well. And do you think that artificial intelligence will create more jobs or just replace those? Um, well, I don't know. I think uh, it will create new jobs. Uh, of course, through automation, maybe some jobs will be lost as well. But yeah, at sim simultaneously, there will be new opportunities. Nowadays, a lot of artists uh, are getting their jobs stolen because AI can do like in just seconds what uh, a person can do like in hours. And that is the dangerous part of AI. In the long term, I feel like it will be room for many, many opportunities. But it would like create other jobs. It will also create more jobs. I think we've seen that well as well with Internet. Everybody was talking about losing jobs, uh, but I think it will definitely create jobs as well. So I'm not really sure if it's really better or worse. I think it's, it must be seen still. Yeah, not too, really sure what's to come. I think we have to regret this because uh, it is a risk for many, many people. Focus on ethical AI or push for global leadership? Mm, I would say focus on ethical. Ethical AI, yeah. actually. 
Ethical AI, I think, still a point. Yeah. Invest in homegrown artificial intelligence or collaborate with tech giants from the US and China. I'll say collaborate with them. But only if that means that we can also apply our rules against like protection of the data and not being obliged to accustomed to the regulation like as they are given to us by US or China mm -hmm. in Europe. So I would prefer like a big a mix of both. With, with European. Seeing all the problems with Meta, I think uh, sticking regional in like European terms would be better instead of going globally on bigger terms. AI for efficiency or protecting jobs? I would say efficiency. I would say both in this case. <laughs> protecting protecting jobs. A little bit both, but I think more efficiency actually. I think efficiency and protecting jobs doesn't have to be contradicting to each other. It is clear that artificial intelligence is one of the pillars of the future, but will Europe help shape it or just follow along? Do our strict rules make us leader in responsible tech or are we holding ourselves back? Let us know your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. Code you later.